Reach to my back, back to my roots. I make you laugh even when you're in the lips of the lips, yeah. Even zooty lips, you know what they gave me? They gave me lollipops on them. Hi guys, I'm Dave. And I'm Jess. And we are your host. <laughs> you have gone off key now. But anyways, we are your host for the Back to My Roots TV show. Of course, I'm pretty. <laughs> Now we move to the blue table talk. Is it an interview? Or our point of view? All, All in all, all it's, it's for your view. view. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the blue, blue table, table talk. talk. All right, so you guys, on today's show, we have Mr. Patrick Edwards, who is a writer, producer, um, he's a singer as well. He dances, but old man style, let me tell you the truth. And he's our daddy. But this daddy. time, let me tell you what the surprise is, is that we're not interviewing him as any of that. We're interviewing him as our father. The one who gave birth to no, us. No, no, the no, one no, you no, did no, the no, four no, five no, on your no, bum bum no, for you. No, so that's what we're interviewing him as. But he doesn't know, so it's a surprise. No worry. Let's continue. How is he a surprise if you literally just said it to him? But now he knows. It was a surprise. Oh, so I was going to say it was a surprise. Sorry. This. Okay, so now we are actually talking, asking you questions on behalf of your parents. So, whatever you say is what the parents of them say. So, I'm just <laughs> advising you. And if you guys, once again, were saying it again, if you don't see us next episode, you know we're no, gone. Not, I'm not that bad. <laughs> you know we're gone. <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping this to a limit. It's, no, it's no, if maybe this is your mom who would have explained. <laughs> No, <laughs> if, if you don't see Jessica next episode, nah, don't worry. Don't no worry. Don't that. mind them. We are not that brutal. It's just their mind. <laughs> uh, let's, be, let, let, let's do this. Okay. 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 So the very first question I want to ask that is, is something that bothers me mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't worry, David. I know. <laughs> me too. I know. So, you parents, you just come to the room at any time of the day. Chai. No. <laughs> No, Jai. and do you know what happens is that you open our doors are closed and you open the door and then you just leave like that with the door open. Why? You know, if you have watched Spider Man, the same thing happened to Spider Man. The parent actually came to the room. So sometimes there's the instinct that comes to you as a parent. If you don't get it, forget You just want to be sure that your child is okay. For example, at night. When you guys are sleeping, I know both of you, you have the guilty of this. It is raining. And somebody's window is open, wide open. And the rain will start pouring into the person's room. The person is by my right, so I'm not saying it's you. Just eh? because of my mind. I do it, I'm really right. The person rather sleep and let the room be flooded. So it's such times that we open the room. Have you forgotten when your room was flooded? Yes. Yeah, Do you know you were, you, were, you, were, you were in deep sleep? <laughs> you, in particular. <laughs> to come but to that was room. because ah, hey. my door was open. I would left the door See, open. This is exactly what happened. So let's summarize. Parents come into the children's rooms and leave the doors open because of instinct. Yes, and another thing too is that some people, when they ought to be sleeping, mostly when they are with their phones, they, that time, 2 a.m., and they are going to school tomorrow. I remember you are the one that usually wake them up. 
and they, they, they will be telling you, that Daddy, Daddy, ah, I didn't sleep very well, as if they had a nightmare. Meanwhile, they were playing games on their phone. David, can you relate to that? No. Yeah. <laughs> Is that I've had a situation whereby something like that happened to me, where a snake came and my dad came in like in those kind of moments and came to help us out. So sometimes your mind just have it that they mean well. Mm. That I mean well. That your mother means well. You know. And you know, how can we practicalize the martial art we have watched on TV if we do not do that kind of a thing? And maybe there's somebody in the room like but, but you know, on the TV, they say do not try this at home when you school. It so depends. if you break your friend's neck, you're on your own. But Please don't try that at home. Okay, so let's, 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 move let's move on. on. Alright, let's move okay, on. Let's you, move on. You. Um, you know, having us as your children, yes. you know, we are very, I, I, I consider ourselves to be very, very talented. You know? How is he able? Don't blow your trumpet. I'm not blowing my trumpet though. Please, don't blow You can blow your trumpet, but you can fix your trumpet. I'm fixing my trumpet. Okay, so, you know, like, well, how does it feel having, having, because you, know, you know, there are parents who, have children who are very talented. Mm -hmm. Not every parent wants their child to go into the entertainment industry. Children now, everybody wants to become an actress, a singer, an artist. But what, like, what's your message to parents out there? You know, to like embrace talent from kids that also want to like do something different. Okay, when I was much younger, my 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 your granddad and your grandma, they wanted me to become a doctor. And my dad really was pushing me in that with that, but chemistry was my enemy. Ooh, it frustrated me, you know. And at a, at some point, he had to let me be, and I, that was what changed my life, you know. And I found out that when I give you the opportunity to be yourself, you are at peace and you are very creative. Imagine, like this set we've just seen now, that both of you did this. It's amazing. But imagine that all these things were locked up inside you and I wanted you to go and be a doctor. I've just destroyed this opportunity that is even coming as benefit to, to us. So as, as a parent, if I do not let you be, you cannot affect and change our world. Because there's some, a whole lot of things that happen. So uh, I can see everybody, the cameraman and everybody, they are telling me to run up. Mm. Understand. You know, it's 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 a great thing you know, when you have parents willing to embrace and put the plan when they understand when they understand what it is. It comes with a lot of a lot of work. Too. But you also, but as as teenagers and children, you also need to understand that there's a limit mm -hmm. as well. You know, everybody will, if your parents being supportive, being the parents that they are, will support you. But it's also in your power as well to you know support yourself and guide yourself mm -hmm. because. Life comes in stages, yeah. and with those stages, you need to you need to be careful about stages. So now, we're going to move to the fun section, the section <laughs> that we have all the way here for. Please bring the box. Uh, <laughs> bring the box. Uh, Here is time. Don't ask me hard questions. You know, it's not, no, it's not, it's not a problem. It's not our uh, hands. It's not, we, it's it's not in our hands. hands. It's, your, it's your hand that, that you have. Exactly. <laughs> Don't pick. Okay, uh, so go. now it's time for the segment mm -hmm. Pick and Remember. That's it. Let's go. Pick and Remember. They just, just. They just pick. I'll pick mine too. You okay, wait for. Pick mine. Okay. I hope it's not those questions that who is Tarzan's cousin and all those. No things. worry, none of us know any of that stuff. So who hey, goes first? Chai. Chai. Things that could happen to me in this world. All right, so let's see. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> so, why do adults say, say the truth and it will set you free? And yet, even after you say the truth, they will still beat you. I remember your mother, when your mother did this to one of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when they say, say the truth and they will still beat you, you know, you see, for you saying the truth, you have liberated your, your mind. But there are consequences, so you just have to stroll and get the consequence. You so, so is it not supposed to be say the truth and liberate your mind? Not say the truth and it will set you free. You see, every decision you take has consequences. You must face the consequence. That's all. Alright, uh, just carry you read it. No, you go first. 
once I saw this paper, every every part of my body just left me. <laughs> but it's it's all right. It's all right. <sighs> what do your parents do to you that makes you wanna talk back? <laughs> uh, remember, your mother is listening to this. So wait, I'm wait, David, 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 what flowers do you want on your on your stuff? No what flowers do you no want? See. Yeah, me, I cannot say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Are you afraid? Speak! I cannot speak! <laughs> I, I'm speechless! I'm, I'm speechless! <laughs> Just a carry on! Carry on! <laughs> okay! <sighs> okay, so my own question. You see, I actually raised this question. Read but, the question! No, wait, it was not meant for me, it was meant for Read the question! Read the question. What is that one thing that your African mother does that annoys you? All right, guys. Let's let's wrap it up. Then. No, you have to answer. No, as a wrap. No, no. Because you, you guys said that every question that comes here or we pick here must be answered. So answer it. So there are a lot of instances. There are a lot of things that happen, but I will choose my words carefully. Please. Well, I still have things I want to do in my future. When when my mom, thank you. When my mommy, when she. There's this thing that she does. There's this, there's this stare that she just gives you when you've done something wrong, but she's not going to. She just. Uh, so how does that one make you? No. You know the other part you guys don't want to say is that you, sometimes you guys can really be annoying, but you see we embrace you. But you you decided to give that to us. Yes, and we're happy. Guess what? I don't have any regrets. But you must follow the consequences. I think they're telling us. The, the, the cameraman wants to dive into the set to tell us about Oh, don't worry. Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. <laughs> In case this is Jessica's last episode. Yeah, yeah you all should send me nah, some, some, some like last that. days of. Like send your love. <laughs> send don't your worry, love. I'll, I'll give you a social uh, media so page. You have officially picked a question from the box. Okay. You do the honors by signing on it. Why are you looking at it? You're not supposed to look at my <laughs> Okay. Yes, we yeah. are ready. Right. And gentlemen, boys and girls, yeah. cats, dogs, newly added animals to the farm, we will see you soon. Soon. Adios. Adios. What's adios? Yeah. Means bye bye. See you. See you. Welcome back guys from that awesome beauty table talk but now I'm going to tell you something that even I didn't know until recently did you know that Africa ruled the world for 15,000 years and it was one of the continents that first started civilization so Egypt which is under Africa and had its own representatives Thebes which was one of them representatives was built near the river Nile and Thebes was actually the first one to create the great lodge which led to civilization and from the civilization it led to order so don't feel inferior because of your culture or don't be like oh i'm an african this is that it doesn't really matter be proud of who you are you are a golden african but make sure to follow us on the links below this is your g saying bye bye